Hi everybody, it's Kayla and welcome back to the Builder's Bible. This is a series of build tutorials I've been doing. I've done like three or four in the past. I did one with like basic cheats and tips and tricks and whatever like basic building tips. I did one about roofing and one about floor plans and now I'm doing this which is sort of like a, a finishing touches decoration tutorial. I don't know how to call it. Basically what we're gonna do is have this pre-built house that I kind of spent like 10 minutes just throwing together uh, and put all the touches on it that make it look like a finished house. Because I've got tips like on clutter and on like, I don't know, painting and stuff. I'll talk you through it, but we're gonna finish it on camera. Basically not furnish the whole thing, but just do all the decorations <laughs> that make it look like a full house. You know what I mean? Uh, so I'm gonna try and do that. Again, I don't really have a like a solid plan. I'm just gonna roll with it like last time, but people keep asking for this, so I'm gonna do it. Again, last time I did this, I got called a narcissist. Uh, my favorite hate comment ever was, Kayla, my husband and I think you're a narcissist. <laughs> and that was on one of these videos. So I'm gonna try to not be a narcissist this time, but you never know. I mean, I just am one, so we'll see how it goes. But you guys, my first tip and my biggest pet peeve about The Sims 4 is the painting system for outside walls. So you can see how I have this like siding the Sims 4, it auto sides, so it does these, I don't know what these are called, the corner pieces, it like auto does it, but it doesn't do it well. So you can see that like these should have corner pieces, they don't. Uh, so what you do is you just kind of take the wallpaper and then shift click, and then it is supposed to auto side the whole thing, but it doesn't do the corner pieces where they should. See, it does it like down here, but not up here. I don't know why that is, but it's really frustrating. And The Sims 3, you could place it automatically by yourself, like you could pick like this piece and put it like that, and then pick this piece and then you, you could do it on your own, but this game does it automatically. It just isn't good at it. So I have a workaround for that, uh, which I'm gonna show you. It requires get together because there's a column. This one is a godsend. It's a nice, perfect little white <laughs> rectangle thing. And what I do is I put it in all these places where it should have the auto, oh, hold on, <laughs> cheats, bb dot, oh, bb, no, 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 okay, can't even do it on my own, <laughs> move objects on, and then you can put these, these columns in the corners, and it kind of fixes that problem, uh, so what I would usually do is I would take the wallpaper, and I would get it in a blank color without the siding, um, and then we would just cover the whole place, so there's no, none of those corner pieces, and then I can put them on my own with the column, but you just, it takes a lot more work and you need to get together, but it works. And it, I think it looks a lot better this way. So as you can see, I mean, look at that. A drastic improvement. So we're gonna put those everywhere uh, and kind of see how that looks. But again, you guys, that's like my number one pro tip because I do this on every single house. I just, I think it makes a huge difference and I hate how it auto sides. It's honestly my biggest pet peeve ever, um, but I just, this, it, it fixes the problem, okay? <laughs> okay, but you can already see those columns made a huge difference. I feel like it looks a lot more finished now, but this house has like the basic default Sims 4 everything, like the Sims 4 roof textures, default Sims 4 roof trim. And so we're gonna add some of that too. I like to use this roof trim a lot. Uh, there's four options. I think the default is, the, oh no, the default is this one. Uh, so that you can see there's a big difference between all of them. I feel like the default one just looks kind of boring because it's the default one, same with the roof. Uh, but I like to put this one on and I feel like it just adds a nice little touch to it. Uh, so we're gonna cover the whole place, all the roofs with this nice little roof trim. Again, it's also, it's free and like, it doesn't cost any money. Uh, so when you have like a cheap legacy starter home, you can use this and I feel like it really ups the game. Um, but we did that and now I'm gonna put like a roof coloring on it. I like this one a lot. It's just like a basic shingle, suburban home shingle. I don't know, I think it looks kind of nice. There's tons of options. You can pick whatever one you want, but I feel like changing that really adds to the house as well. Um, so we've got that on it. And now look, at it just, it looks like a changed house. It's such a big difference. Maybe I'm biased, but I think it looks a lot better already. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and I feel like adding maybe, I don't know, some flooring out on this deck out here would look nice. Um, I like to make it horizontal and I like to make sure the flooring and all the house goes the same direction, like all the woods, so the wood out here is horizontal, the wood in here is horizontal. Does that, that's lame, but it's important to me. Um, so I always do that. And then we'll go and put, I don't know, like some railings on the stairs. I feel like that makes, not those, that's not the right one. Um, where's the right, this one? <laughs> some railings on the stairs, maybe even some super cool, what are these spandrels? Um, we'll get some of these in there. Uh, these make, I think, a huge difference as well. I like to use these get together ones because they're kind of small. Um, and I feel like it just adds a nice little touch, but it's up to you. We can do it everywhere. I think it just, 
it makes it look more finished again. It's these little like finishing touches in the game that I feel like make a huge, huge difference. Um, I might even expand these stairs to be super wide, make them pretty like grand looking. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe, okay. <laughs> but you can see like the difference of the house after we've done that, I think it's pretty huge. Um, now what I want to do, this is a weird thing too, but it bothers me a lot. Like the way that this roof looks, like all these pieces kind of together on this side of the house, I already did it to kind of cover it. So what I did is I added this little bump out and then made these go in. Cause they before were like, I don't know, like right there. Um, you can kind of see how it like cuts out. So I pulled it in and hit it in this piece of the roof. But over here, we have this weird issue going on where I want to go in and add a fake chimney because I feel like these fake chimneys will help to hide that. So what you do is you just put the fake chimney up all the way, get a half wall on top, and then it really just hides your silly little roof pieces. And they, they all just kind of come together so nicely, you know? Although I did end up um, accidentally getting rid of a window. So sorry about that game. I will put you over there. We'll just do some switching, but there you go. See, look at that. It hides the roof. See before this piece would be like right there. Oh, nope, hold on, <laughs> bad example. This piece, it was like right there, but you just pull it in, hide it in the chimney. Looks great, get some more dimension on your house. <laughs> I feel so ridiculous saying these things, but I'm trying to give pro tips, okay? Uh, so I would usually grab, I don't know, just like some red brick. Um, I like this brick color a lot, but obviously it's up to you. I tend to use the same ones. And then you can go and get like the half wall trim on top, uh, get some white, and you kind of pop. Um, and you have that there. We could even make it a little bit taller, actually. I might do that. <laughs> Hold on. Just a tiny bit taller. And also you could even put like a real chimney in there because they have them in the game. We could put like this one. Um, oh, hold on, maybe it won't work. But you could control nine. This is a cheat, I'll get to that in a second, but you could raise this up, this chimney, and then, ooh, it doesn't look good. <laughs> Never mind. I was just kidding. <laughs> I didn't mean that actually. Um, well, if you put the grit, yeah, that's, it's, mm -mm. just kidding. I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. There's a way to work around that, but it, I don't feel like bothering to fix it right now, <laughs> but there's that. And then, you know, let's go ahead and do, for example, like some landscaping pro tips. I can't do a landscaping full video because I'm not good enough at it, but I do have some advice for things that I like to do when I landscape and I can show you them now. I always put fences in my backyard because I feel like it kind of makes the whole place look better. This fence is very irritating because it auto places, again with the Sims and they're auto placing, it auto places, um, these little posts, but it can make them like three, so you can do this, where it has like the just one, and it can it can be three wide, and I feel like it's just, I don't know, I think that when it's just the one tile, it looks bad, but that's just me. Um, so you have to kind of mess with it to make it not look like that. Uh, but I'll always place like two, um, and I'll go to a point where, see if I were to make it just that long, it has like an extra long tile. So what I like to do is make it this wide, so it's always like just sets of two, and then we go across, to like there and then we can go up here and then we just drag it there see i just i feel like it looks nice kind of a finished backyard you know um i might even ooh, <laughs> see the issue is like that we could even make it like one tile longer so it doesn't have the weird three wide tile thing um but it's up to you guys however you want to do it um i like to do it this way i might even just let the three wide thing slide and keep it like this i just don't like how they're all two and one of them is three or one of them is just one, like that really bothers me. <laughs> so um, obviously it makes sense because it's not an even number, but I just, I don't like this look. So I always make it like that, you know? Um, but we have that and then you can go and put like some trees in. Um, my favorite trees in the game are like this one. I also really like this one because <laughs> they're kind of tall and skinny so they fit most places. Um, I also really like to use these and on lots that are big enough, this is a really fun tree to use, but it's kind of very large, so it's up to you. Um, I think on this particular lot, ooh, I don't know. I mean, the trees in the world are this one, so it kind of blends in nicely, uh, which is always a thing you could think about when you're when you're building. Um, but again, it's up to you if you like care about that sort of thing. I mean, I do, but you might not, so you could just like put whatever trees, you could just put pink ones if you wanted, but I, I hate this tree actually. Don't tell anybody I said that. Okay, so I've placed a few trees around the lot. I feel like they look cute. I'm a little biased again. Uh, but what I wanna do now, this is just me like talking through my like exterior tips, by the way. I hope that it's helpful. I don't know. What I wanna do now is put like a pathway outside. One of my favorites to use recently is this one. 
Um, ooh, not gonna work here. Not, nope, nope, nope. Okay, well, <laughs> on when it's just too wide, I think this looks pretty cool because it has like the auto thing on the sides, but we've made ours four wide, so it's not exactly gonna work today. Uh, but we could always put something like this. I don't know. Mm, yeah, these aren't gonna work. Not, not this time, <laughs> maybe next time. But I also like to use this one uh, because it's got like the triangle, like the, I was gonna say triangles. No, the sidewalk like squares. So it kind of works nicely. Uh, but also I'll do a thing where I'll put, put it like this where you've got like one on the outside and those on the, in you know, I'm not very good at explaining myself, but I like to do that on bigger lots, like community lots. Um, there's also ones that are this one. Oh, is that the same as, ooh, this one's just a little bit more like destroyed, I guess. Um, and then they have, oh, hold on. This one, which looks like that. Again, it, it looks really nice on ones that are just too wide, um, but ours is four, so it's gonna look a little bit weird. I think I'm gonna use this one. Uh, I like how it kind of blends with this sort of a little bit, not really, but to an extent. So I'm gonna do that today. Um, and then we have the, the nice little task of having to landscape the whole thing, um, which is always, I, you know what? I'm just thinking about my four wide path. I always do two wide paths. Would it be better to do a two wide path? I'm just, cause I have my column set up so nice and I don't want to change it, but like, does that look weird? Are those too many columns? Mm. Is the two wide path better? Guys, this, I should have prepared this before I started, but I feel like the two, it's, it's not grand enough of a house to need a four wide path, but then I could do this one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it this way. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm so lame, but then you can put your little mailbox at the end of this at end of it and stuff and then landscaping Which is always an issue for me because I'm not too good at it Um, I like to use like this kind of bush What I'll do a lot of the time is just like line the inside of the backyard with these bushes. Um I kind of tuck them into each other so that they blend nicely and I'll put them all around the entire backyard <laughs> Which I feel like is maybe a little bit weird because most backyards aren't this like pristine um, but I think that it looks nice and it's easy to do, so I often find myself doing it. Um, but then you have to kind of mess with them because they always cut through. So you need to like scoot them a little bit. I always scoot them into each other. Um, but I feel like it looks cute and again, a little bit biased, but this is one of my favorite things to do. Um, oops. And then maybe, see, then you have the issue of getting a, a gate back here too. Also this fence kind of annoying because there's not a gate that's pure white. There's like white and blue, but we could put just a nice little white and blue gate right there. Um, or in the front. No. Yeah, no. Maybe we'll put it like right there and then we won't line this part of the fence. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I like it. I'm a fan. We can always just kind of overlap them. You can't really tell. Um, but I like to do that. And then even sometimes I'll put like flowers underneath it too. Uh, a good bush for that I like to use is this one because it's kind of low lying and it's got flowers and it kind of blends nicely and pulls things together well. So I'll just kind of line these. Um, I might even use like yellow on this house. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I think I'm gonna do, this is like just me talking through every landscaping I ever do. I know some people are a lot better at this than I am. Like I'm gonna name some names like Stefo Sims and Hatsy are really good at landscaping. I am not. Go watch their speed builds and see how they do it because I still haven't figured it out. Um, but I respect them and <laughs> their talent when it comes to landscaping. So there's there's some advice for you guys, but I like to do this. It looks kind of weird on this house now that I think about it. Um, but I don't know, it's, it's an interesting idea. I might undo all of it and we can kind of talk through some other options. Um, but one of the, the worst parts for me is always the front yard because you don't want it to look too busy but you still want it to look nice. And I never know how to do that. Plus there's weird things in the game where if you get too close, like it does this weird, like it, it jumps up, you see, to the foundation. So what you have to do, uh, this is a pro tip as well <laughs> that I always do is I'll move the foundation down and then you can do your landscaping. Um, not right, not like that, hold on. <laughs> you can do your landscaping with it on the first floor, get it as close as you want it to be. So I could put that and like some flowers maybe. Um, really up close to that and then I just raise the foundation back up and these plants will stay there and then they can be close and they still won't they won't do the stupid like jumpy thing that it does so there's some advice for you there you can make it as high as you want it to be I like to do three 
Um, it's kind of like my my standard foundation in The Sims. That sounds, but I built so much that I have like these these systems of things that I do where I do like the three the three tile that, and I always do with my my rooms. They're always the size to fit this rug nicely. They're always like this size every room you can see. Um, even the kitchen is that size too. I just make every room that size. Um, so I have these systems, but <laughs> I'm just trying to help, okay? So you can landscape that way. I'm not gonna do the whole landscaping because I don't really feel like doing it right now, but that's my advice. Also, I watched a video, I forget who made it. This is like years ago. And they're talking about how you should avoid using like too many colors in landscaping because it looks a little bit like messy and cluttery then, which is not always a good thing. If I were to use like all these different colors, um, it might look like a little bit weird. You know, but if you were to try and like maybe only use like oranges and yellows, it might be better. So that's some advice that I've seen. Um, I don't know. I'm not good at it. Don't ask me. <laughs> I've done what I can for you. Now I want to talk about like cluttering because I've done a video on floor plans. I did one on other things <laughs> like roofing and stuff, but I wanted to decorate this kitchen on camera and show you guys how I do that because I feel like there are a lot of things that most people don't know and that require some workarounds that I know about, so I'm gonna try and help. Um, but step one is I've already went and I just like put in some counters and stuff, so we've got like a base thing to work with. But then, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I think most might, might have known, but there's super cool things you can do with counters in The Sims 4, counters and cabinets. Like if you click on them uh, and then you go and you press this little, oop, this little button, you get a lot of different variations that you can use. So you can go and you can put like, I don't know, a super fancy one that's got like a shelf in it on the edges. And you can put like a short one on top of things like that. And then you can do another short one. I don't know, we could always put um, like another one of these there and then you can put a short one up there. And I feel like it just makes the, it just looks nicer with a variation like that, you know? Also unrelated, but I'm getting sick and so I can feel my voice kind of going. Very sorry about that, you guys. Uh, but also same thing goes for the countertops, like these island countertops. Uh, you can get kind of fancier ones like this that just, oops, oh, what have I done? <laughs> that just, I feel like look a lot nicer and makes the whole place look more finished. You see how they have that like fancy, look at that, isn't that cool? As opposed to the normal one, like the default one, which just looks like that. It's not, it's, I don't, I don't know how to explain. You can see what I'm talking about though, right? <laughs> how there's like this default one and there's the, the fancier ones that we've kind of put here. Um, I think it looks cool. And I'll always kind of maybe scoot them um, like over a little bit better to make them a little bit more nicely centered in the room because they center based on the square that they're on. But you see how the centering is not like, this is what I would consider centering. You know what I mean? I don't know how I'm explaining this. I'm not doing a very good job, but I always like to scoot them a little bit more and it does snap, which is good. Um, and then you can get, I don't know, some super cool, really nice um, bar stools. <laughs> Uh, I like to use, for example, in this kind of kitchen, I would probably use these, to be honest. Um, I don't know what color to use, though. Ooh. Um, these may, no. Well, actually, no. Yeah, I don't know about this particular kitchen and bar stools. That's concerning. Maybe those will look nice with the gray. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like asking for approval, but you guys aren't even, <laughs> you can't agree with me at all. I also like to put in, um, I'll usually do a nice like stove hood. Uh, this one looks good with this particular stove, but I also like to use like these, these hanging ones um, in different kinds of kitchens. Like maybe, that doesn't look too bad in here actually. Um, maybe we'll use that. I don't know. And I also like to use uh, this one, which is kind of nice as well. But that one you kind of have to see, look at that, Might be, maybe we'll use that one. I don't know, I feel like it's just all these little things that make a big difference, right? Because I'm, I'm into this kind of thing, like clutter and dumb stuff like that in The Sims. That's kind of my thing, so <laughs> I want to show it off. Um, other thing you can do that I think people don't realize is you can put these shelves in. Now this is going to get wild, okay? <laughs> I like to put them like this, um, where you can, they're kind of overlapping, but I feel like it looks nicer when they kind of fill the whole, the whole wall. You know, um, let's put a curtain in first too, actually. I'm gonna go for this one in a nice little white color, but you can raise objects up and down. If you put in the bb.moveobjects sheet, bb.moveobjects on, uh, we already had it on, but you can do that. Uh, then you can layer them like this, and then you can raise objects up and down, because things snap, like this will snap to the things, but this one won't, you see how it doesn't snap. But if I click on it, put it, like hold it like this, control nine, press nine to raise it up, zero to put it down. Um, but then you can raise it up and you can put it 
on one of these little shelves, you see like this, and then you've got a super cute little plant. You can put whatever you want on whatever shelf you want. Um, and I think it looks really cute that way. And so we can do that there. Uh, we could always get, I, there's so many options for clutter in The Sims too. Um, so you can put like anything on these shelves. We could put, um, what's a good thing? Like one of these maybe would look cute on the shelf. We could put it anywhere again. So it might be too tall actually. <laughs> Hold on. Um, oops, I raised it too high. I believe it is too tall. Oh, now, oh, it's, it's snapping, oops. Okay, well, sometimes what I'll do is I'll put, like, for example, I might put, like, forget that shelf. I might do it like this so that there's some parts that have more space so I could put a taller thing up there. And then I could even put, like, a painting and pretend that it's resting on the shelf. Like, I could take, for example, where's my favorite one to do this with? Uh-oh, I've lost her, this one. <laughs> I could put it like that, and then it looks like the painting is kind of resting on the shelf, but obviously it's not. But it kind of looks like it is, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, so I do that a lot. And you can also take, like, for example, the books that come in the game. Uh, they're these. They're called the vintage books. You can raise these up. They look really nice on the shelves. I always put them like this. There's three options for colors, too, so you can put three next to each other, and they look really nice. Uh, so I, this is, like, a thing that I do in every single build, too, <laughs> is this exact same, this exact same, like, clutter setup. But I think it looks really cool, and it makes the house seem a lot more lived in. But you can put, like, different swatches. And then you have like these little books just sitting there. And I also like to use like, for example, these candles look really nice up there. Uh, this is just like <laughs> the way that I do all of my builds. Uh, but I'll put like these candles up somewhere, uh, usually in the white swatch. And then there's also these cool objects. There's like these little train thingies. And I like to put them, like maybe I'll put like a train set up here. Like we can put like in, in the kitchen because <laughs> we all have trains in our kitchen, right guys? Uh, but I'll put like one train and then two trains and then I kind of, two chains make a, a little train setup. <laughs> Oops. And then, and also the, it, they just look really nice on these shelves, don't they? Yeah. Um, I need to get a third train. <laughs> this one maybe? I don't know anything about trains. That looks correct though, right? Then you kind of have to scoot them and make sure that they fit nicely. Um, they might not actually fit on them like this because I've put two shelves together, but maybe they will. Oh no, what have I done? Come on train, scoot. It's kind of hard to maneuver as well but oh look they fit see look at my little trains isn't that kind of cute and you can put whatever you want there um and then in the kitchen so these are also kind of hard to to work around because things snap in kitchens like this will snap to places so i can't just like put it wherever i want on the counter right and things like for example i don't know maybe hmm like if i wanted to put i don't know like uh oh i got it if I wanted to put, for example, like this paper towel thing, I don't necessarily want it there. Like it almost seems like it's in the center of the counter, which is kind of weird. So what I liked, because I can't just put it like back. Oh my God, are they mowing the lawn right now? Don't you know I'm busy? <laughs> Can you hear that? Probably, I'm almost done, I promise. So I'm really sorry about this. But living in a dorm, you can't control these things. But what I have to do is that you can put it there and then you can move the counter and then you just hold it and you can scoot it back here and it goes, it's on the same height still. You can see that it's on the right height. So I can place it wherever I want. It'll snap to like this counter if I want it to, but I can also pull it off and then I can place it wherever. I usually like put them like really up close to this. I'll grab like this one too. So what I'll do is I'll put these really, actually I'll switch their places. <laughs> so I'll put like this thing right there and then this right there like together, you know, up against the corner of the cabinet. And I think it looks really cool, right? And then it's kind of realistic and plus your Sims can still use this counter because when there's like this object on the counter, they can't use this counter at all. But these things aren't technically placed on the counter so they can still use this and it doesn't affect their cooking space because they'll cook like right here so they can still use it. Um, and I'll put like, I don't know, usually I don't like them to cook in the counters or in the corners. So I'll always put like a fruit basket in the corner um, or oftentimes I'll put like my microwave in the corner because those are always, I forgot about that. <laughs> Get a microwave in the corner somewhere. Uh, we could put like a little fruit basket there or a fruit basket on the island is always cute too. And then uh, we could put like some plants in the corner. I like to put this plant on counters in The Sims. I don't know why, but you have to raise it up. It doesn't automatically place. I think it might be why, because I have to raise it. I can put it wherever. Um, I like to put that like right there and you can put a different color on it. I like to use the green one sometimes. Um, so I just see the kitchen looks already a lot more lived in. Um, and then sometimes I'll put, I don't know what else do we have in the game. There's so many options, like a bread box maybe, or like this thing is kind of cool to wash your dishes with. Uh, but you can also like place this however you want. And you can put like a little soap dispenser. Hold on, watch this, ready? 
ready, it's getting wild, you guys. <laughs> you could put like some soap on the kitchen sink as well if you kind of scoot it back. I don't know how to, so you have to kind of mess with it and see how to best place it. Probably should be a little bit farther over, right? Because you have to kind of guess and then move the counters back and then hope that it's right. But that kind of works. And then you have like some soap by your kitchen sink, which is kind of cute. Um, and then, oh, you can put like curtains in if you want to. I like to use the Parenthood ones, these now. I think that looks kind of cool. You can pick a different color, um, like uh, this one, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, but just I feel like it looks really nice in there. I'll have some screenshots kind of playing right here if you want to like, take a better look at what we've done here. Uh, but your Sims can still use the counter space. We can even put like some wall decorations in uh, if we want to. Maybe I won't play screenshots until after I'm done because <laughs> I keep changing my mind. What I like to do, there's uh, these wall decorations. I like to use a combination. These are always kind of cute, like this little, this little thing. We can put her over there. Um, see, like right there, cute little like fake fork thing. We can always get a nice little fire alarm so we don't drop dead. Uh, I like to use also, I keep getting distracted <laughs> by my ideas. Um, I also like to use like this little thing, this little menu board. And sometimes like this is kind of cute. I put them together always. I don't know why. I just think they look nice next to each other. But also in the cool kitchen stuff pack, there's some cool stuff you can put in. Uh, packs, cool kitchen. Oh, wrong thing. Uh, like this is always kind of on the spice rack. Also, there's like a nice cutting board. I wouldn't put them there, but you can also get like some knives <laughs> or some little like forks and spoons hanging. Uh, whatever you want to do. I think this looks decently full already. Um, and I feel like it looks pretty cute, so I might keep it just the way that it is. But that's, oh, oh, one more thing, sorry. <laughs> I like to put like maybe a mat underneath the sink. Might not be a good house for that, but you can put like a doormat outside. That always looks cute. Um, see, I just, it's all these little things that I like to do. But that, you guys, is the end of my stupid little pro tips video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I've got some screenshots of my things going through here. I might finish up the house a little bit more and then put in some more pictures. But I hope you again enjoyed it. I've got like four other Builders Bibles now, three other Builders Bibles now. <laughs> I'll have a playlist link down below if you wanna check those out. But with that being said, I'm gonna cut off here. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Last time I did this, I got called a narcissist. Uh, my favorite hate comment ever was, Kayla, my husband and I think you're a narcissist. <laughs> and that was on one of these videos. So I'm gonna try to not be a narcissist this time, but you never know. I mean, I just am one, so.